welcome to Plaid for Women TV, your go-to resource for the business of life. Whether the CEO of your home or your own business, women struggle with the same challenges. At Plaid TV, we discuss real-life issues affecting real women and offer solutions to help you achieve your goals, get connected, and be heard. Together, we will change the world. Let's do this. No mean girls allowed. Hey, welcome everybody to Plaid for Women TV. I'm Siobhan Palmer. In this video, we're talking about pelvic floor health. My guest is Dr. Marie Warner. Dr. Warner is the Assistant Professor of Physical Therapy at the University of North Texas Health Science Center in Fort Worth, Texas. Dr. Warner, welcome. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk in this video um, causes of pain as it relates to the pelvic floor area. I know in your practice you get many people complaining against about pain, so tell us some of the more common um, reasons for pain in the pelvic area. So. Some patients that come with pelvic pain, um, they could have a variety of different diagnoses, whether they have um, painful bladder syndrome or IC, um, or endometriosis, or fibroids, or cysts in that region. Um, all of those things can contribute to um, muscle spasm or shortening of the pelvic floor. Um, traumas um, to that area can also lead to muscle dysfunction or shortening of those muscles as well. So they, they all can lead to, to pain in that general area. Stress. That's another thing. So, what, yeah, stress is huge. When you say trauma specifically, uh, could that be somebody who's been the victim of a sexual assault, for instance? It could be. It could be a sexual assault. Um, it could be a very traumatic delivery. Um, it could be a fall, any of those things. Okay, so tell me what treatments you offer to your patients relative to um, focusing in on pelvic pain. So it's a little bit different than if I... if. It's a little bit different um, than if someone were coming in with just a muscle weakness. And so we do an evaluation to assess what the state of the muscles are. If there's a lot of pain and tenderness and the muscles are not able to completely relax, then instead of doing something like pelvic floor exercises, we would do soft tissue and relaxation techniques and things like that to encourage the muscles to completely relax. So what actual procedure do you do to ascertain you know, uh, the pain level in that area. Do you do like a similar to an ob gym type procedure? So we do an evaluation and assess those muscles. So it is an internal exam, but it's not like an ob gym um, exam. There's no speculums involved. It is simply palpation of the muscle. So it's not like a pap smear. It's a no. very, very different experience. Yeah, there's not the speculums, um, and it's just an insertion of a finger and then just palpation to see um, if they're tender, if they're painful, if they're able to completely contract and relax, um, things like that. Okay. And you hear the term Kegel quite a bit for uh, various uh, reasons. Why don't you describe in layman's terms what a Kegel exercise entails? So a Kegel is a pelvic floor contraction and then relaxation. And then doing that, whether you hold that for a long time period or doing those quickly and able to completely relax. With this patient population, I usually, like if they are not able to completely contract and relax the pelvic floor and there's a lot of pain and tenderness to palpation, I would not recommend them doing Kegels um, because they're not going to get an effective contraction and they're unable to completely relax. That would even add more to the pain, I would imagine. It could. It could make their pain worse. It could make their symptoms worse. Yeah. If they have incontinence, it could make that worse. But yeah, it's just, it's one of those things. If the muscle's not functioning 100% correctly um, and not able to completely relax, then pelvic floor exercise is not something I would recommend them, them to do. Okay, and just to uh, complete this, I wanted to ask you, how would you ascertain whether a patient's actual pelvic floor region was contributing to the pain, that it was the cause of the pain? That's a great question. So um, a lot of people that maybe they didn't have a trauma, maybe they don't have, um, maybe they didn't have like a traumatic delivery or never had kids or anything like that, but they're having, they're experiencing um, some of those symptoms, whether it be like pain with intercourse, that's typically something I'll ask, like if they have a history of pain with intercourse, um, unable to wear tampons, a history of painful GYN exams, those things can, can kind of, I don't want to say they always predict, but if, if they're ha experiencing those things, um, it could be because their pelvic floor is non-relaxing or not functioning like it should be. 
And typically when you um, recommend a course of um, exercises to address these issues, what time frame you're looking at? Is this something they would do for the rest of their life or just does it vary with patient to patient? So um, if they're coming for pelvic pain, a lot of times I'll see my patients for longer time periods because we're having to retrain a muscle to, um, to, to improve it the way it's functioning. So by being able to relax, um, as opposed to just strengthening. And so with strength, I mean, yes, whenever they start doing um, the pelvic floor exercises, like they would have, I mean, that's that's a life issue. Like they're gonna definitely want to incorporate that for the rest of their life. Just like they would do any other exercise mm -hmm. regimen, right? Okay. Well, Dr. Warner, this has been fantastic information on pelvic pain in the pelvic floor region. Um, if our audience would like to get more information or contact you for an appointment, tell us how they can get a hold of you. You can email me at marie.warner, spelled W-O-E-R-N-E-R, -E at unthsc.edu, or you can call the clinic at 817-735-5400. Dr. Warner, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Siobhan Palmer with Plaid for Women TV. See you next time. Thanks for watching Plaid TV. See you next time. <laughs>